Hi, this is Janine from the Onsip product team, and I'd like to give you a walkthrough of our new administrator portal that exists inside of the Onsip web app. So where most of you are familiar with going to admin.onsip.com, we are now moving all of these features into app.onsip.com. So if you open up Chrome and type in the address, add your SIP address and your password, and hit login to get started. For those of you who use our web app, you should be familiar with our soft phone here on the left-hand side and all of your contacts. Here is an overview of your call history. And for those accounts that have voicemail enabled, this is where you have all of your voicemail messages. What we've done now is any of our account level settings, we have moved over here. If you click on your avatar on the top right hand corner, you will see an area called account and payment. If you click on account and payment, this is where you can get an overview of your current plan. You can compare it with our other plans. You can see an overview of all of your add-on features and your monthly charges. Over here also you have calling credits where you can go in and add calling credits and view what you have at the moment. You can add or update a credit card, your billing contact information, view a purchase history where you can look at all transactions or you can filter by plan invoices or PSTN transactions, filter by date, and you can also print. For more information on individual transactions, all you do here on the table is expand and you can view that. Over here, we also have the ability to download the form to request international dialing for your account. And you can go in and create a new PBX if you want to support multiple PBXs within your account. Once you have multiple PBXs for your account, you're able to transfer phone numbers between PBXs and also transfer your phones. Also over here on this navigation, you can go down and you can click on support. And here you will find all of your support needs in one place. You can contact our support team right here. You can submit a ticket for the team. If you have any tickets open, you'll be able to view them here. We have some handy FAQs for those administrators who are setting up or managing their PBX and a link to our knowledge base. And finally, the newest thing that we've moved over from admin.onsip.com is all of the administrator features. So over here on this new tab, administrators, if you click on here, this is where you can start to view your PBX and configure or edit any PBX settings. So right now, if you move over here, all of our control and navigation through managing our PBX is on this left-hand navigation. If you have multiple PBXs set up, this is where you will be able to go in and configure each of this, the PBX settings from here. All right, so let's walk through this left-hand navigation. So you can see these are all of the users that you have in your account. You can search and you can also filter any of the columns. You can also add another user. And if you want to edit or view an existing user, all you do is go down here and you expand and you can see users' information, their call settings, voicemail settings, phone settings, any communications that you may need to trigger for them, um, and some advanced settings. Back over here on the left-hand side, if you have phones set up with Onsip, this is where you can view information about those phones. Uh, you can add a new phone and you can change any of your phone settings as well by expanding and you just go into edit. So once you have users set up and you have desk phones configured, you also will need your phone numbers. So this is a directory of all of your existing phone numbers and you can also add numbers. You can request a single number at a time or blocks of multiple numbers as well. Again, you can just click on this to view any information and you can edit right here. As I go further down on the phone area, we also have some related features here. If you need to port an existing number from your carrier, you can put in a porting request right here. Or if you need to request a toll-free vanity number, you can do that request right here as well. Moving on 
over here on the left hand side where you will probably spend most of your time for configuration this is your inbound call settings so if you need to configure your business hour rules you can do so here you can also view any rules that you have in place right here and make edits uh, you can also toggle the view so here you can view it by day of the week and times that you have set up and you can also create new rules uh, we have your announcements um, again you can expand this to view details of your announcement and edit um, acdqs attendant menus any call recordings that you might have conference suites if you want to set those up your dial by name directory your ring groups inbound bridge music on hold you can enable music on hold you can also enable your enhanced music on hold and this will allow you to add new music streams a parking lot a library of all of your recordings plus your recording manager information and your voicemail library as well <clears throat> We also have, aside from your inbound call settings, we also have the outbound call settings where you can go and set up E911 locations, external SIP addresses, and external phone numbers for call routing. We also have a directory. So this is a directory of any address and extension that you have set up within the ONSIP PBX. Uh, you can search here, you can sort these columns uh, you can also download the directory which will download everything in your directory either into pdf or to csv your reports over here on the left hand side you can filter by different time stamps and different time zones you can get an overview of um, your reporting and then also if you want user specific reporting you can go further down here and you can expand for more details where you can view all of the call detail reports and you can download all of this information into a CSV as well. And then lastly, you have your PBX settings over here where you can go in and you can monitor and add any block numbers, a default caller ID for your organization. You can view any enabled services that you have on your PBX account. You can migrate existing SIP domain. You have your recording manager in here and your voicemail manager. And that is a quick overview of the new administrator tab and account and support settings right here in your OnSIP web app.